Robert with Zenfolio here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how in under 10 minutes, you can create an amazing photography website using Zenfolio. Now, before we get started, I've organized some assets on my computer. If you don't have all of this together yet, don't let that stop you. All you really need are a few good images to get started with. Let's head over to Zenfolio.com and start a free trial. First, I'll enter my name and email address, then click Get Started. Next, I'll enter my business name and create a password. Now, if you haven't decided on a business name yet, this can always be changed later. Now I'll select the type of photography that I shoot the most of and then start a website. Zenfolio offers several website templates to help get you started, but for this video, I'm gonna use the Portland template. On the next page, you can preview the website template you selected. If you decide you want to try a different one, just click the back button. I really like this Portland template, so I'm gonna click next and then click customize and publish to start working on my site. Under the site design section, I'm gonna set the colors, fonts, and button style to match my branding. Now I'll click on the header to upload my logos. Zenfolio allows you to upload a logo for light and dark backgrounds. Next, I'll click on the hero block to change the transition settings to slide plus fade and then upload my images into the three photo frames. When you are selecting images for your homepage, you want to show your very best work. I like using the photo frame hero block because it allows me to tell a story with my images by showing several from the same shoot together. Now it's time to work on my welcome message. This text is more than just a way to greet visitors. You can add SEO value by including location and service information. This will also reassure potential clients that they are in the right place. I'm going to use this photo grid to showcase a few more of my images here on the home page and also to break up the space between my welcome message and about message. The Portland template comes with an about section on the home page as well as a dedicated about page. You can delete either one of these if you wish. However, I'm going to use the section on the home page as just a quick introduction and then go into a little bit more detail on the about page. Next, I'll update the client testimonials block. Client testimonials are great for your business. They build trust and show potential customers a positive brand history. If you haven't had any clients yet, consider asking a friend or a family member to write a review for your business to help get you started. Now I'll connect my Instagram account to my website. This will make it easy for anyone who visits my site to follow me on Instagram and will also show a nice grid of my recent posts here on my website. That's it for the homepage. Now let's move on to the portfolio. To start things off, I'm going to change the page name and page title from my work to portfolio. Now I'll upload my portfolio images. These should be 20 to 30 of your very best photos and preferably not the exact same images that were used on the homepage. Depending on the number of photos that you upload, their orientation and the grid that you're using, you may have to delete a few to get your grid to even out. Since this is my portfolio page, I think it would be a great place to showcase another client testimonial block. 
Keep in mind that website presets are just a starting point. You can customize your site and really create something unique by adding, removing, or replacing blocks and modifying them. I'm pretty happy with the way that my portfolio page is looking. So let's move on to the clients page. This preset comes with a portfolio block. However, I'm gonna remove this block and let this page be where existing clients can log into their private galleries. Now, let's move on to the sessions page. If you have created a promotional video for your business, you can link to that video here. This is a great way to show off your personality, explain your services, and let potential clients know what to expect during their session. One thing to keep in mind while customizing your site. Most of the website blocks offer different layouts. You can cycle through them by clicking on the block and then clicking layout in the top right corner. The services block allows you to clearly lay out the types of services and sessions that you offer. First, I'll add an example image to the block and then adjust its focal point. Now I'll update the title of the service and then include a short description. You can also offer multiple packages or tiers of service within the same category. For example, I'm creating a studio portrait option as well as a location session option. You can add more packages or tier options if you need to. When a potential client clicks the book button, by default, a window will pop up allowing them to quickly send an email. This button can also be linked to a custom URL. An FAQ section is a great way to improve your customer's experience. It allows you to answer the questions that are most commonly asked surrounding the services that you offer. With that page finished, let's jump on over to the About page. Since I have already introduced myself on the homepage, I'll use this page to go into a little bit more detail about who I am as a person. Chances are anyone viewing this page has already looked at my portfolio and liked my style of photography. So this page needs to help those potential clients feel some kind of connection with me, as well as convincing them that they will like working with me. Last but not least is the contact page. This page is pretty much set up right out of the gate. So now I'll do a quick preview just to make sure that everything looks good. I am really excited with the way that this site turned out. The homepage and portfolio look fantastic. And at just barely over the eight minute mark, I would say that was pretty quick and easy. The final step is to publish the site to make it live, and then I'm gonna copy that link to share out on my social media.